Hello, it's Sarah. And today I have some ATCs I want to share. I saw the coolest video. Um, it was by a woman named Cindy Shepard, and she's a certified Zentangle artist. And she did a video on mixed media um, and Zentangle, like combining the two. So um, I watched it and I was like, oh my gosh, I totally have to try this. It's called Zentangle with Mixed Media by Cindy Shepard, and it's on the Design Originals um, YouTube channel. Design Originals 1, 2, 3. Um, so basically what she did was she took old book pages and... Um, I made mine into AC, uh, ATC size, but she just, actually her journal was an old book. That's what she was playing around in. It was an old book. So the book pages was what she was working with. And the technique she used was um, using the Pigma Micron pens, So because she's a Zentangle artist. Um, she was drawing these little birds. Now this one isn't a great example of it, but you can see I did leave a few spaces to Zentangle on the tail, and I put the polka dots, but it's not the most entangled piece. Um, this guy's a little more, has a few more places on both the wings, on his belly, and on his uh, little feathers on his head. But let me tell you a little bit more about the technique. She, um, so basically you just draw out your design. I mean, she did little birds, and I love birds. I've had birds, and I still have one bird. Um, and these were just so cute, I couldn't stand it. So these are basically her designs. Um, I'm a copycat, um, and you just draw it right onto the to the pages, the um, the book pages. Um, I always back mine with the um, the uh, file folders, but I didn't do that till after they were done. Um, so basically, then she takes gesso. So you draw your image, then you take gesso, and she put it. I mean, I don't know if you can tell by the texture. But she didn't cover everything up. She wanted some of the script to show through. But like on the way, I mean, you can feel the texture. I don't know, it's just cool. Like I dabbed it on my sky too. And I, I dabbed it all around. Um, I put some on the leaves and on the bird here and there. Like the eye, um, actually I went back over that with my white gel pen. But um, this is my first one. Uh, then she comes in, oh, with the ink tent pencils. So she uses the ink after that's dry. So just go, I made like, I think I made five designs of these. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five birdies I did. Um, and they're just kind of like, and then I Googled it and looked for any cute little birds. Um, but I mean, they're super cute. This is kind of my own design. I did a um, mosaic with birds one time and it was just an easy, kind of a pear shape. Um, I added the tail. I didn't even put that on my mosaic. It was just like that. But I added the tail. Um, so you just draw and then I did fish. So I'll show you the fish in a minute. So you draw your design and then you come back in with your ink tense pencils. And she had the 24 set and I was so jealous and I went to Michael's today, I had a 50% off coupon and the 24 set was $80 and I did not get it. <laughs> I mean, it still would have been $40, like unbelievable. I was just like, what? But these are fantastic. If you guys haven't tried them, the Ink Tense pencils, they're watercolor pencils, but they're just different. They're just, The color is so vibrant. So she just basically really hits it lightly here and there with the color like you can see on him where I really and then she mixes the colors so this is like a teal and a green I'm sorry my nails are very I'm dirty because I was I'll show you something else too but um really cute so she doesn't want to cover all the book pages and I put some in the sky I think I said that so these are my little, uh, I love this pink, pink and yellow one. I put the polka dots. I think I want to add more polka dots. This is orange and yellow. Oh, and then I just filled in the blank space with a word. Just carefree, seek, uh, learn. This one says yellow and orange with a little green. Uh, intense, because he just looked intense. I don't know. <laughs> They're so cute, these little birdies. And play. That's my word, you know, I love to play. So here, like right here, this is not, I covered it with gesso. After you color and everything and you feel like you're done, you can come back and go back over all your lines. 
Um, see, because like right here, got covered with the gesso. Because I really like the lines to be dark, to, sh to give that depth. So like, of course, the eyes got all blurred out and stuff. But um, And then I went around the words with um, a black micron pen. And then the edges I did with not this gold pen, but my um, my Jelly Roll Gold. I just like that. I forgot I had this because I would have definitely used it. And that's how I finished them off. And I didn't really do much else. Like I could have used my Jelly Rolls. You could do whatever. So that's like these two are kind of the same design. One's bigger. So let me show you my fish. So then today, I did these last night. Then today I went and I just Googled fit like fish doodles. I think I have six of these. Um, and just kind of copied. I'm a copycat. I, in my little um, notebook here, I just kind of drew whatever ones kind of caught my eye. You know, I just thought, okay, because this is the fish that I always used to draw when I was little and stuff. Um, Kirby, come, come. Okay, she's in the house. I thought she was outside. So this is my little fish that I always used to draw, and I did make little places to Zentangle. But mainly, I was excited about playing with the in ink tense pencils again and doing it on the book pages because it's not watercolor paper was so different. And then when you put the gesso all over the place, the ink takes to the gesso even differently. So this time, for the water in the sky, I used two of the Tim Holtz markers. Um, I used tumble glass and salty ocean for the ocean, for the water. And they're all, the fish are jumping out of the water, by the way. They're not like flying in the sky, and that's not ocean. They're, they jumped out of the water. And I could have put drops. Someone had a fish jumped out of the water, and that kind of, you know, gave me the idea. Of course, I'm a copycat. And I did go over all the fishies with Wink Estella because fishies are kind of shiny. They have an iridescence to them, a lot of them. But... I just kind of, I loved these with like the little teeth and stuff. I went over all the white parts with my white gel pen. Um, but like, see the little Zentangle parts? That's it. Like, I could have totally Zentangled more. But by, I mean, I was just so into doing the actual little fishy. Like the little drawing and the, and the coloring. And I mean, it's very subtle and light. She doesn't want it to be totally covered with color just a hint of color look at this poor guy this says fine courage i was running out of like one word sayings but he has a sad face so i didn't know what to put for him because all the sayings are very positive <laughs> but um you know I, I just think they're super cute look at this guy i put strong for him because he seems like he's a piranha or something so i don't know if you guys love playing with mixed media and um I had just never done anything like this with the book pages for ATCs, so I have all these ATCs. These I made, and I'm probably going to put one of these birdies in um, at least the first five of my mail art. Um, not mail art. Now I'm calling it mail art. <laughs> pocket letters. My pocket letters. I'll probably put an ATC in there. Um, but they're just so fun to make. What else can I tell you? And then I went around these with my silver um, on the edge. I just did a line around the edge. I can probably do a tutorial, but I mean, her tutorial is really easy to follow, and you just have to wing it. You just have to, you know, find what you like to draw or something. Maybe, I mean, you could do, um, I liked the idea of critters, like little doggies or little whatever. Um, just little cutesy drawings. Like, the birds are so much bigger. I mean, look how cute they are, and they're so colorful. All right, you guys, I'm almost at 10 minutes. That's it for this. Thanks for watching.